imbeciles, women are erratic. Is this any good? Well, not really. The guy generalizes too much, and I think all people who generalize are, are idiots. Well, I have to cross that off my list of things to do. So, to what do I owe this pleasant, yet entirely unprecedented visit? Oh, uh, you know how we women are. I've just been thinking things over again. Oh, it's not a gender issue. I've been known to think things over on occasion. Yeah, well, I finally reached a firm decision. I think. Something you said the other day has stuck in my head. You know, you told me that if I left, that you'd still be here when I got back. Did you mean that? Listen, Chelsea. I've been like a rabbit in heat whenever I was near you for a long time now. But if there's one thing I've learned from you, it's patience. I can wait for you to come around. It's nice to hear. I've decided I need a break. Time to decide what I want to do with the rest of my life. There's just one thing I need to ask you before I go. Tell me what you think about love. You know, romantic love. Well, falling in love is like bungee jumping. Except the other person gets to hook up the bungee cord and you can't check to see if it's fastened to anything. Sounds like you're not too interested in trying it again. Well, no, it's not that. It's just I've got to be more careful this time. Same thing if I ever do the bungee thing again. Next time I won't eat a whole plate of nachos right before I jump. Oh, I feel the same way. Oh, uh, about being careful and not rushing into anything. Although, I must admit, of late, I've had some pretty strong impulses about you. Tell me about these impulses. Oh, Doctor, I've had this urge to do something like that. Wait, wait, you can't do this. It's, it just could be too dangerous. But I like danger. I like acrobatic danger right here on... Look. Tex, I am really attracted to you. I mean, like, uh, really. In fact, lately I've even been imagining what it would be like to, uh, you know. <laughs> and, uh, well, that's why I need to take this trip to Phoenix to make sure uh, I'm thinking with my head. Oh, I can't guarantee anything. But when I come back, don't be surprised if I come looking for you, Mr. Murphy. And you better be ready. I can't decide if Chelsea's really interested or if she just likes torturing me. Either way, I think I'll take a nice cool shower and get back to work. Maybe looking at the note Emily gave me last night will help keep my one-track mind off Chelsea.
Well, Emily Stalker was careful not to leave anything traceable on this note. The only distinctive thing about it is the Black Arrow symbol. I've known Lieutenant Mac Malden for years, and occasionally we help each other out. Like a few months ago, when I gave Mac a tip on finding Rusty the Clown's body in the funhouse down the street from the Ritz. Well, as I live and breathe, it isn't Tex Murphy, my little V.I. pal. Hey, what's your arm doing in a sling? Isn't it usually your butt? <laughs> You're a funny guy, Murphy. You know, I sprained my elbow beating the hell out of a guy just because he reminded me of you. And I think you're forgetting who tipped you off about finding Rusty's remains at the funhouse and got you named Cop of the Month. I didn't forget. Though I'd like to. So what do you want? Don't know anything about him. Take a look at this note. Damn. Did you get this? I got it from a client. What can you tell me about it? You ever hear about the Black Arrow Killer? It's vaguely familiar, but refresh my memory. Oh no, you're on your own in this one. You take care of yourself. That's dangerous territory. There are a lot of perverts running around these days. We can't keep tabs on all of them. You think I know everyone in this town? Don't know anything about them. You think I know everyone in this town? No can do, Murphy. Sorry. We found Rusty's remains in there thanks to your tip. Sure was good to close a case on a damn clown. I'm not sure who owns the place now, but I still got the key. We found Rusty's remains in there thanks to well, there are some things I don't know about. Don't know anything about it. Well, there are some things I don't know about. Don't know anything about it. You think I know everyone? We found Rusty's remains in there thanks to your tip. Sure was good to close a case on a damn clown. I'm not sure who owns the place now, but I still got the key. Sure. After the tip you gave me, I suppose the least I can do is loan you the key. Most of what I know came from the papers. I know there's a rumor around that the Black Arrow Killer has moved out here. David Wright's cabin is out in the middle of nowhere. The place appears to be totally abandoned. The door's unlocked, but as soon as I step inside, I sense something wrong. Like I'm just about to open a carton of milk that's been sitting out in the sun too long. Books in the case have really been shoved around. Nice wad of paper.
This tree probably died years ago. Makes quite a conversation piece, though. Interesting. I bet this will run on my computer back at the office. These pieces of paper are wrinkled, as if they were wet at some time. Those big red spots look like blood splatters. Nice supply of firewood. This must be Mr. Wright, the owner of the cabin. Rag's got brown stains all over it. No, that's blood. This window looks like it's been broken for a while. I'd guess the cabin's been unoccupied ever since or someone would have covered the hole. Seems like a strange place to hang a painting. Hmm, this door's locked and I don't see a place for a key. Must be hooked up to some type of keyless entry system. And a security keypad. I guess whatever's behind the door must be important.
Looks like a post-war map of Scotland. Books in the case have really been shoved around. Put some good holes in this guy. There's not much left of him, but I don't think this is Malloy, judging by the hair. Looks more like the guy in the photo downstairs. David Wright. The question is, who's responsible for this? And did they get Malloy too? Still more paper scattered around. Doesn't appear to be too important. Desk's made out of walnut. These books look like they've been tossed around, like somebody was rifling through them. Whoa, now there's an antique. A real 16 millimeter projector. <laughs> there's a projection screen on the other wall. I'd better pull it down before I start the film. got to be some sort of practical joke. Wait a second. Whatever that thing is, it just moved. I think I remember some sort of alien autopsy film from years ago. That alien was dead. This thing looks alive, but just barely. Seems to be in a lot of pain. Wonder what happened to him. Uh-oh. He doesn't look like he's gonna make it. I wonder if Malloy's disappearance is connected in some way to the contents of this film clip. Military personnel, a live alien. If it wasn't a hoax, this thing could stir things up in a big way. Maybe I shouldn't be getting involved. This is the sort of thing that gets people killed. <laughs> 